Welcome back, time to newcomers. I'd like to apologize to State's Attorney. Last episode, we dealt with some of Clavier's troubles and tried to figure out the connection between all of them. In this episode, we get to give Lamira the news of Latusa's horrible death. I heard that Mr. Latusa died. Never mind, I guess she already knew, somehow. Lamira, you speak? I mean, you speak English? Ah, uh, yes. I was invited here from the Republic of Borginia. But I am not Borginian by birth. But wasn't Mr. Latus your interpreter? Ah, uh, that. Yes, well, that was Mr. Latus's idea. He thought it would add to the mystery, you see. Then your pianist is also... No, Makitoba is Borginian. He does not speak English. Now, please tell me. What happened to Mr. Latus? Why did he... Actually, Mr. Latus was... Prusy! Huh? Remember what Prosecutor Gavin said? Not a word. But Mr. Latus is Lamidar's manager! That's not fair to her! I mean, isn't she a related party? Precisely who Prosecutor Gavin doesn't want to alert, I'd suspect. All we have been told is to wait here in this room. It's very unsettling. I'm sorry, we're trying to figure it out ourselves. Do you think I could ask you some questions? Of course. I'm always willing to help. She's as calm as she looked on stage. I can't put my finger on why, but I like this, Lamirar. Operator. What is it, Maki? Abriyamachi Hokkarima. What? But you'd be alone. Abriyamanamachi. Um, what seems to be the problem? Maki, he is not good around strangers. He wishes to go out for a breath of fresh air. Would that be alright? Uh, sure, of course. Very well. What is it you wish to ask me about? Ooh, pretty music. Um, tell me about yourself, Lamirar. The Republic of Borginia, that's in Northern Europe, right? I've never even heard of it. I started out singing in a restaurant. Then the producer called me. Before I knew it, here I am. He plays piano in a restaurant. Producers tend to look for talent, Trucy. Lamirar, you're not from Borginia originally. Were you born here? Well... Oh, is that supposed to be a secret? Image is everything when you're a star. I know a bit about that, of course. Ah, uh, yes. It is something like this. A contract, you might say. I am also not supposed to speak in anything but Borganese in public. Im image is important, I guess. She's not all image, though. Her songs are lovely. A real landscape painter and sound. A painter and what? She travels the world turning the sight she sees into music. That's the secret to your music's beauty, right? You're very perceptive. Oh, I use your songs all the time in my stage act. I don't have to pay royalties for that, do I? Stop while you're ahead, Trucy! This landscape painter and sound, too, is an image. Yet without it, my songs would not be so widely heard. They even call you the Siren of the Ballad, right? Yes. In Borganese, Lamuara means the Siren. I fear that, perhaps, already I'm not the siren I once was. Machi. Your pianist. Machi, was it? He's cute! Like a porcelain doll! He's very European. Jeez, that's racist of you, Apollo. I met him while singing in a restaurant in Borginia. He is an orphan, 
Yet his playing is exquisite. Soon he came to live with me. It's like a fairy tale almost. I noticed he hardly leaves your side. Yes, well, he is blind. At first I hesitated about dragging him around the world. He doesn't speak English either, does he? He had never left Morginia before we met. I made his presence part of my contract. Maki and I together are Lemoir. Together, always. Mr. Latus. Mr. Latus was my new manager. New? Yes, from three months ago. Around when I received Mr. Govan's invitation to come. I met Mr. Latus at my office. He was to be my manager and bodyguard. And, as it turned out, my interpreter. Interpreter? Even though you speak English? Yes. But we were to visit more places than just here. After this, we had a concert scheduled in Japan. But I fear that may have to be rescheduled now. Was Mr. Latus from the Republic of Virginia too? Well, he was only with me for three months. I fear there is much I do not know about him. And now, I shall never know. And no one will even tell me why he has died. Uh, I'm sorry. Prosecutor Gavin said we weren't to talk to anyone. Mr. Litus was a talented man. The siren of the ballad. That phrase was his idea, you know. I am happy for him that it has become so well known. The siren? That's what he meant. Huh? Apollo? You are the siren, right, Lamirar? That is the meaning of my name in Vorganese. It is the name my producer gave me. Why do you ask? It's very important. I had to know for sure if the siren was you. What do you mean, important? I'll tell you. You deserve to know. The siren. Siren? It turns out that's a very important word in this case. How? When we found Mr. Latouse, he was still alive. What? I heard him say something. His last words. Mr. Latus, can you hear me? Ask. Witness. Hang in there, Mr. Latus. Tell me, who is the witness? Witness. Is. Siren. He said siren? Really? I was the only one there to hear it. But I'm sure that's what he said. Mr. Latus said that? Ask the witness. And you're the siren, Lamirar. Did you see what happened? Lamirar? Might I ask, are you with the police? That? Oh, uh, well, no. I'm a defense attorney. An attorney? Yet there have been no arrests, yes? Is that a problem? Does an attorney not work for a client? If you have no client, you should leave the investigation to the police, I think. But, Lamirar, we... I'm sorry, but I cannot answer your questions. I'm afraid you lack the authority to ask them. Ah, why? If she witnessed the crime, why won't she tell us? I believe we are through here. I believe so. Well, what about your brooch? Let's give you that, first of all. That reminds me. Does this brooch look familiar to you? My brooch? Yes. Well, it may be mine. Yours, Lamirar? I was wearing a brooch earlier, you see. I must have lost it. Well, that explains the brooch we found. It was Lamirar's. Thank you. I was wondering where I dropped it. So this brooch belongs to her? 
That begs the question. Is something wrong, Apollo? What was this brooch doing at the crime scene? That's a good question. Let's see. What? Okay, so... They're not gonna tell us right now. That makes sense. Alright, what about this investigation request? Would you mind taking a look at this, Lamirar? I'm sorry. I'm not sure what to say. I wish I could help you. Da, ah, don't worry about it. Certainly one of the most pleasant refusals I've had. Sure was. Um, what about this lyric sheet? No, um, not the mixing board, I'm assuming. What about my attorney's badge? Nope. Alright, guess we'll get out of here then. Where are we going? Backstage hallway? Um, back to the stage, maybe? Oh, the uh, guitar case is open. Now that's a big instrument case. That's a case for a contrabass, I think. You could fit 20 violins in there, I bet. It may look like a violin, but it's a completely different instrument. You could fit five trucies in there, I bet. Hey! Are you comparing me to an instrument? Hmm, I wonder who left it sitting open like that. Okay. What a big stage. It's on a whole other scale than the Wonder Bar. The lights were so bright I couldn't see the whole first part of the concert. I'd love to do my act on a big stage like this someday. Just hold back on the lights, for my eyes sake, please. You'll be too blinded by my magic to worry about lights. You probably don't want to blind the audience if you plan on showing them magic. True. Um... So I, I'm guessing there's nothing to do in here at the moment. Um, so what about... Actually, um... Oh wait, no, not in here. We're not going in here. Wait, what is that? Real quick, what is that down there? Something on the floor. Oh no, that's the brooch. Derp. Oh, Apollo! Can I eat some of those, please? Better not. Emma will find out. Somehow she will. How could you eat those without telling me? Yeah, I'll make sure to leave some for her to eat, too. I don't think that's the issue here. Alright, um... Hmm, okay, well, we've got to be forgetting something on questioning Lamirar, so let's go back there, see what we can do. Alright, how about... I thought I had something I could present to her anyways. Well, I don't know, let's examine some stuff. Ah! Look, it's a postcard of Lamirar! What are these letters at the bottom? I've never seen these before. It must be her native tongue, Morganese. A landscape painter and sound. That is how it would translate roughly. Please, take one. A landscape painter and sound? That's a nice image. Alright, so we got those. Cool. Um, What else might I be able to get in here? A police uniform hangs on the stand here. Ooh! I want to try it on! Nothing to see here. Move along. It's okay. You don't have to go that far to be special. I mean, you're not exactly the type who's just another face in the crowd. Really? You think so? Hmm. I guess you're right. Now I feel like a meanie for making that insinuation. Alright. Um. It looks like this is a small room, so we can't exactly check over to the side. What about this guitar? A guitar? Legendary double A 400, the Red Badger! I thought Rock was supposed to be rebellious, not civic. Every aspiring guitarist wants one of these. They even paint their own guitars to look like it. Ah, the fickleness of youth. You should dye your hair Badger Red, too. I like my hair the way it is, thank you very much. Ugh, the stubbornness of age. Um. Well, what if we present her to the postcard? Nope, nothing on the postcard. Wait, don't we have that, um... It never picked up that little, uh, transceiver device thing. Maybe we can do that now, let's see. Oh, nope, well, this is where we're supposed to go. July 8, 1222, backstage hallway. Whoa, who's there now? Uh, it's you. 
Oh, it's Emma this time. Okay. Where were you? Ah, Emma! Is something wrong? She looks grumpier than usual. You bet something's wrong. The impossible's happened. Ugh, it's all your fault, you know. Oops, maybe this is about us leaving the crime scene. What do you mean by impossible? Well, it's gone. Utterly gone. What's gone? The body, stupid. What else? Eh? Mr. Latusa's body has disappeared! What? Holy crap, the body's gone? July 8th, Lamiara's dressing room. Ah, Prosecutor Gavin. From your vacant stare, I gather you've heard the news. I heard Mr. Latusa's body had gone missing. Look for yourself. Oh, snap. Quite the pickle. Quite the pickle. How can you just stand there? We have to start the investigation. Oh my god, Clavier turned into Emma again. There's no need for alarm, Fräulein Detective. All entrances' exits have been sealed. The body will not leave the building. So I suggest we go find ourselves a cadaver. There will be plenty of time to ponder the vise later. Well, you seem pretty sure of yourself, Mr. Gavin. Oh, we'll find him. I'm rather enjoying this. You're sick, Gavin. You're a sick, sick man. How could Mr. Latusa's body just disappear? Well, you heard the man. Let's get searching. Hey, I don't know if this is the right time, but... Yes, Darian? See, Gator's gone missing. It was in the dressing room. Gator? Who's Gator? <laughs> That's what I call my guitar. You like, man? I think it's pretty homo, man. Just saying. Just like your hair. Uh, your guitar was stolen? This hasn't been a good day for guitars or Gators. <laughs> okay. Body first, then guitar. And if someone finds that guitar, please bring it to our dressing room. Gator's like a missing person, not lost and found, man. Alrighty then, disappearing act. Well, this sure is, uh, what did he call it? A sausage? A pickle, Emma. No, wait, it was a pickle. And it's your pickle. I told you to stay in the room. Sorry, not much else I can say, and God, I hate pickles. It's alright. Top priority now is finding that body. You can make it up to me later. Ten bags or so of chocolate snacko should do the trick nicely. You should watch your sugar intake, Emma. Certainly should, alright. Let's go over here, see what we can find. Egazamin! There should be a body here, but there's not. How could this have happened, and why? 45 caliber revolver. Very deadly. You know, Paolo, I was wondering, what's a caliber, and what does a 45 mean? Huh? <laughs> you want me to tell you? It's the size of the barrel. Simply put, the larger the caliber, the bigger the round. The bullet... In other words, bigger bullets do more damage. Wow, chalk one point up for forensic science. <laughs> you know it. But it's not 45 inches, right? That'd be too big. That's what she said. What's the unit of measurement they use, Miss Science? Well? Hush. Kids shouldn't ask so many questions. All right. What about this case? What an amazing bouquet. I mean, it's giant. Not sure if I approve. It'd be better if this flower is a bit more. Oh! Eek! The flower fell off. What happened to preserving the crime scene, Emma? It's fine. Fine. I'll just put it back. See? How scientific. Well, okay. So it made me examine the flower instead of the guitar case. Whatever, I guess. Um, ooh, what is that? There's like a little note next to the, uh, the 
the chair there. There should be a... Uh, okay, we already read that. Um, I think we examined that before. Maybe we can move back to the hallway and grab that thing now. Let's see. Give me that. Okay, so it's still not going to let me grab it. Okay, then. Let's move to the stage. July 8th, 1257, in the wings. Does something seem different to you, Paul? Something is definitely different here. Let's check it out. Sure. Wow, the stage is up. All right. That stage there must have been lowered before. That's the tower that Lamira and Prosecutor Gavin were singing on. Someone must have raised it. see a way to control it from here. Apollo, what about that ladder there against the wall? We could use that to take a look up top. Maybe we should get Emma. What are you talking about? We have to see this sort of thing for ourselves. I'm not so good with heights. Stop whining and start climbing. Ugh. It didn't look that high from below, really. But when we got to the top, I felt every one of those 20 feet down. Of course, I wasn't thinking about the height anymore. Not after what we found up there. We found two things we were looking for, and one thing we never expected to find. The body, guitar in hand, and the pianist, Maki Tobai. July 8th, 10.09, Write Anything Agency. Wow, that concert last night sure went south in a hurry. No kidding. Why did they arrest Machi? Why? Don't look at me like it's my fault. Maki Tobai, the blind pianist. Arrested on suspicion of murdering Romaine Latouse. I can't believe such a cute little boy could do something so horrible. I guess they had proof of some kind. What proof could possibly prove that? Morning. Prosecutor Gavin, how'd you break in here? What a night there. I apologize for being so upset. Mr. Gavin, do you know what's going on? Why did they arrest Machi? Why? Don't look at him like it's his fault, either. It was tough for me, too. We performed together that night, after all, yet... Yay. The powers that be say that, given the circumstances, it could only have been him. What do you mean by the circumstances? Lamarov was invited from Bourguignon as an ambassador of goodwill. It is vital that this case be wrapped up swiftly. That's all the powers that we want, really. Well, those are circumstances, all right. But what makes Maki the only possible suspect? Uh, forehead. You seem to have forgotten that you're talking to the prosecution, the enemy. Ah, right. I think I like this side of Prosecutor Gavin better, I'm actually. I'm not at liberty to discuss the particulars of this case. Especially not to the defense attorney. What? Did you just say? Me? The defense attorney? That's what I came to tell you. He's done with the detention center. He wants to request your services. Well, time to make some money, ka ching ka ching He... you mean Maki? Maki wants me? This is what we've been waiting for, Apollo! Let's get going! Uh, right. Good luck. I'm off to question, Lamora. Right. Later. I hope I'm up to this. Here we go. July 8th, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Well, I just don't get it. I refuse to believe a cute little kid like that could do something so terrible. You said that already. Hi, Maki. Maki, everything's going to be okay. We're here for you. Um, hi. Maybe you can tell me about last night? Huh? 
Să vrea să vrea să ieși și ar și... Să fie nu mai e să zi în lăsă! That was when I realized how tough it must be. A little kid like this... In a country so far from everything he's ever known. Maybe La Mirar can help. But didn't Prosecutor Gavin say she was with him? Good luck. I'm off to question La Mirar. Well, what are we going to do? That's, uh, a good question. I can't think of anything we can do but go with this. And hope for the best at the trial tomorrow. And we'll have to continue this next episode. Rate, comment, subscribe, favorite. And then the trial will begin in episode 22.